Summer's gone, and all the roses die. See, I told you, Wayne, this food can kill you. Waiter says, guy walks in, comes up, pop, pop, back of the head, walks right out. Gangland USA, Gino Corraldi was sitting down to some calamar. He'd just stolen the account books of Alphonse the Wolf Lupo. He felt like celebrating. Just a glow everywhere I go. Take a the bar and play. Take a look at the dance. I'll be new to the Louis Prima, the best. And there will come a day. And you will pass away. What will they say about me when they enter the room? What will they say about me when the end comes? I know it's just a jiggle. Life goes on without me. Me. The end comes, I know, those are just a gigolo. Life goes on without So go be So instead of having a beer, Joey, go ahead. I got scotch. Dude. I got a joint. Go. Hey, where'd you get the hat? You like this hat? This is a $25 dub's hat. What'd you get those sneakers? <laughs> These are $2 sneakers. <laughs> Why don't you lower the jukebox? I can't even... Hey, the girls like the music loud. Girls, you call those skanks girls? Hey, what's the matter with this kid, huh? Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with me, my friend. I'm feeling fine. Keep your mouth shut. Hey, you tell me that in front of this asshole. All right, all right. We're not gonna pay. We're not paying. No, we... But why? We just said we were gonna have a drink. We're not paying because this guy, this guy's a fucking mook. But I didn't say nothing. nothing. And we don't pay mooks. A mook? I'm a mook. Yeah. What's a mook? A mook? What's a mook? I don't know. What's a mook? You can't call me a mook. I can't? No. I give you a mook. Hey, it is a mook. Come on, get out of here! Come on, goddamn old lake, come on. I'm all right. Fuck! Should have been there already, and we would have been there if I had been for your fucking around. Jesus Christ, but it's me, Kenny. Ow! Don't you stop the shit. Straighten up, bitch. Come on, fucking... Oh, look at this. This is a nice thing. I think I like it. I'll take it. It's a nice outfit on her. I'm gonna go over and look at this Mitchie right, Just stay right fucking, all right? Just stay right here. Are you sweating? Job a little too much for you? Stay right here. Because you're a little bit too yes, conspicuous. Yes, I don't care how we put this thing. Stay here. Hey, would you let go? Fuck. Get it, get it. 
Here, what do you think? Give me the bag. Fucking way, you carry it. I'm gonna give you the bag. Give me the bag. with the fucking bag? Give me the bag. Knock your fuck out. Take your fucking hand. Okay, okay, take it. Jesus, what's wrong with I'm you? I'm carrying the bag. Yeah, right, you got it. Just take a chill pill for Christ's sake. Fuck you with that chill pill. Remember where we came in? No, that's towards Sears. Where the f Which way? Which way? Jesus. But if you two aren't the biggest pair of fuck-ups I've ever met in my entire life, how did you ever rob a bank? Hey, when you robbed banks, did you have to look for your car then, too? No wonder you went to jail. Is it this aisle, Louis? Is it? Louis? Louis? Is it this aisle, or is it the next one over? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're positive? Don't seem sure to me. Hey, don't say... Don't say anything else, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Well... I mean, don't say one fucking word, okay? Okay, Lewis. See? <laughs> Just where I said it was. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I think your friend is you. Yo. Yo. <laughs> you got a gift, my friend. You got a gift. Oh, yeah. You saw that there was something that I was trying to do and you, you figured that out. That's why you are who you are. God bless you, you got a fucking gift. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I really oh, don't. Yes, you do. Go on. If it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're going to turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. There's a flip side to that coin. What if you do got me boxed in? Then I gotta put you down. Cause no matter what, you will not get in my way. We've been face to face, yeah. But I will not hesitate, not for a second. Maybe that's the way it'll be. Or, who knows? Well, maybe we'll never see each other again. Like, come on, some more. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. You called those carrots? That's right. They were carrots for later. Oh, oh, oh. Did you eat them? Did you I got eat no them? choice. Oh, oh. I got no I choice. Oh. I got You're no the, choice. You got no I'm choice. Gonna go I'm going to go Get in there! 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 Get in your mother's an animal, you yeah. son of a bitch! Oh. You're gonna find your dog dead in the hallway tomorrow, you yeah. fuck! Yeah. Like that block! People could hear you. June 29th. I gotta get in shape now. Too much sitting has ruined my body. Too much abuse has gone on for too long. From now on, it'll be 50 push-ups each morning. 50 pull-ups. There will be no more pills, there will be no more bad food, no more destroyers of my body. From now on, it'll be total organization. Every muscle must be tight. Hey, 
Harry Tuttle, heating engineer at your service. Tuttle? Are you from Central Services? <laughs> I called Central Services. Well, they're a little overworked these days. Luckily, I intercepted your call. You did Just a minute. What was that business with the gun? It's just a precaution, sir. Just a precaution. I've had traps set for me before now. And there are plenty of people in Central Services who'd love to get their hands on Harry Tuttle. <laughs> are you telling me that this is illegal? Well, yes and no. Officially, only central service operators are supposed to touch the stuff. Would you hold this, please? But, but nowadays, with all the new rules and regulations, they can't get decent staff anymore. So they tend to turn a blind eye, as long as I'm careful. They find you if ever they could prove that I've been working on their equipment. <laughs> well, now, that's a pipe of a different color. <laughs> but wouldn't it be simpler just to, you know, Could you work hold for... this for me, please? Sorry, yes. I was saying, wouldn't it be simpler to work for central services? Ah, uh, couldn't stand the pay. You couldn't what? Couldn't stand the what? Paperwork. Couldn't stand the paperwork. Listen, this whole system of yours could be on fire, and I couldn't even turn on a kitchen tap without filling out a 27 B stroke six. Bloody paperwork. <laughs> I suppose one has to expect a certain amount. Why? I came into this game for the action, the excitement. Go anywhere, travel light, get in, get out, wherever there's trouble, a man alone. Now they got the whole country sectioned off. You can't make a move without a form. There's your problem. Can you fix it? No, I can't. But I can bypass it with one of these. Fine by me. Are you expecting one? No. Lowry, you're a good man in a tight corner. Listen, um, I, uh, well, I just happen to work at the Ministry of Information. What? And, uh, well, I just happen to know that information retrieval are looking for an Archibald Tuttle, heating engineer. You, uh, you wouldn't by any chance. Would you? My good friends call me Harry. Information retrieval, huh? The big boys. <laughs> what do they want you for? Da -da 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 All right, time to go. Sorry. What's that? Da -da 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 uh, listen, you, you, um, you really must let me give you something. How much will it be for the, uh, for the work? Ah, come on. You did me a favor. Just check the card. Oh, well, thanks. Listen, kid, we're all in it together.
gonna do six weeks. I can't take I over the show for six weeks. I can't even take over my own life for six weeks. And you're asking me to do something that's impossible. It's impossible. Don't you understand? Why? Life goes on. <laughs> A man become preeminent. He's expected to have enthusiasms. 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 What am I? What draws my admiration? What is that which gives me joy? James. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> a man. A man stands alone at a plate. This is the time for what? For individual achievement. There he stands alone. But in the field, what? Part of a team. Teamwork. Looks, throws, catches, hustles, part of one big team. Match himself to live long day, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, and so on. <laughs> Team don't field. What is he? <laughs> you follow me? No one. Sunny day stands up full of fans. What does he have to say? I'm going out there for myself. <laughs> but I get nowhere unless the team wins. Team. Jesus Christ. Say, hey, leopard, I know you, leopard. I can see those spots that you can't change, leopard. Huh, leopard? Huh? You can go to some fancy prep school and fool everybody. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. <laughs> I sure do. Sure do. Who threw this away? I did. Who threw this away? You threw it away? Why? Because it was empty. Empty? That look empty to you? Looks empty to me. Yeah, it looks empty to me, too. Mr. Hot shot. Is it empty? Huh? Is it empty? Dad! Now, now, now. Is it empty? Stop! Now, now, Mr. Big Time Hot Shot Prep School Fucker, is it empty? Is it empty? Huh? No. Good. All right. Now clean it out. Clean it out! Now, was it empty? Huh? Was it empty? Yes. <clears throat> Oh! <sighs> 
amount of blueberries in each muffin. An equal amount of blueberries in each muffin. You know how long that's going to take? I don't care how long it takes. Put an equal amount in each muffin. Talking to me? You talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Oh yeah? Huh? Okay. Huh? on the street allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner i do what i do best i take scores you do what you do best trying to stop guys like me look at the size of that trunk you could put three bodies in there just kidding just trying to levitate the situation okay thank you we appreciate it. Sure, sure. Hey, what kind of car you used to drive anyway? Uh, it's a Lexus 430 uh, LS. That's like a Toyota. <laughs> it's a Lexus. Yeah, Toyota, Lexus, same thing. Japanese, right? Let's not forget Pearl Harbor. Anyway, let's get serious. You want to buy this car what? Yeah, you name. Well, I don't know. We have to think about it. Yeah. What's there to think about? I mean, you told me you liked it. You asked me 10,000 questions. I answered every single one of them. You drove it. You love it. What more do you need to know? Uh, you know, it's a lot of money, and uh, we just need the time to consider it. Consider it? Yeah. Well, why don't you consider this? You've been breaking my balls for about an hour, asking me about every goddamn accessory in this car. Look, what about the light? What about this? You cannot what about talk this? to customers like that. You're not a customer as far as I'm concerned. You want to buy the car or not? Not from you. I want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? Yeah. Yeah? I'll show you the manager. Here's the manager. <laughs> right here. Here's the manager. Excuse me. Are you Jack Walsh? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Alonzo Mosley, FBI. Oh, that's a nice badge. How can I get one of those? I want to talk to you, Jack. Yeah? Why don't you call my social secretary? You're very funny. Please. I want to talk to you. Yeah, take your hands off. Jeez. Take it easy. You know, it's a $10 fine for Jay walking around. Right, shut up. I don't bother to scream. Trust you. 
Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Answer me. Can I trust you? Was I at that dinner? You Just tell me. Was, was I at the dinner? You were was I at that dinner? You were wandering. Was around. I at that dinner? You were in the. You were in the building. I was in the building. So you know damn well I was at that dinner, and you swore to me that I would have a fair hearing at that dinner. Did you not? Did you not? Well, tell me I was at least at the dinner. Allow me that much. Give me that much at least. Yes, you were. Yeah, thanks for not calling me a liar, you son of a bitch. First of all, Miss Long, thank you very much for your help at the office and for passing this on to Jerry. I appreciate it more than you know. Now, Jerry, before I begin, I just want to thank you for listening to this material and for the opportunity you've given me. You know, lots of people think that guys like you, you know, people who've made it, lose their feeling for struggling young talent, such as myself. But now I know from experience that those people are just cynics embittered by their own failure. I know, Jerry, that you are as human as the rest of us, if not more so. Oh, well, I guess there's no point going on about it. You know how I feel. So let's get on with the show, The Best of Rupert Pupkin. Jerry, I've sketched out this little outline in order to save you a little bit of time, okay? It's a little introduction. So close your eyes and imagine it's exactly six o'clock, you're standing in the wings, and we hear Lou Brown and the orchestra strike up your theme song. And now, from New York, it's the Jerry Langford Show, with Jerry's guests, Richard Pryor, Ben Gazzara, Elizabeth Ashley, Carol Burnett, and the comedy find of the year, making his television debut, Rupert Pupkin, the new Rupert. king of comedy. Rupert! Are oh, you crazy? Hey, What's hello, the matter Drew. with you? Yeah, ah, come on. You are sleeping. Lower it. Oh. What's the matter with you? Mom! Take it easy. Lower it. I'm, I'm not going to lower it. I have to do this now. I don't mind you playing it, but lower it. Now, you come on, Jerry, and you do your monologue, and then when the time comes, this is how I see you introducing me. You could say something like this. Will you please give your warmest welcome to the newest king of comedy, Rupert Pupkin! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rupert Pupkin. I was born in Clifton, New Jersey, which was not at that time a federal defense. Is there anyone here for <laughs> But the fact is that no one is allowed to be really too poor. Because once you fall below a certain level, like 11,000, they exile you for sale. My parents did, in fact, put the first two down the to my child. Then they tried to return me to the hospital to the fact that Remember all the different ways in the trees? Remember that? Remember? Huh? The mountains? Yeah. 
Another one? Even more? One shot. One shot. One shot. <laughs> yeah. You mean you weren't counting the days? Of course I was. 4,344, 4,343. I lost track at 3,000. That wasn't my choice. Yes, it was. It still is. Well, anyway, did you come here to welcome me back at least? I still live here. I was on my way out, and Mo said I should at least say hello. I hope Mo didn't have to bend your arm or anything like that. Welcome back, Noodles. Hey, Noodles. You dancing? Every night at the Palace Theater. I've made some progress since I used to dance here among the brooms and the empties. You can come spy on me if you like, if you have time. Every night. Don't you say her? It's a miracle. We've got to remind them how good it is. How good what is, Leonard? The joy of life, the gift of life, the freedom of life, the wonderment of life. Alonzo, uh, Jack Walsh. Federal Bureau of Investigation. You're going to spend 10 years repersonating a federal agent. 10 years for impersonating a federal agent. 10 huh? years. 10 years. What am I getting excited for? You stupid, we got a million fucking bulls out there. Everybody's watching us and you get a fucking car. Are you telling me I'm excited? My mother's name. It's a wedding gift. Yeah. I don't give a fuck whose name it's on. Are you stupid or what? Did you hear what I said? Don't buy anything, don't get anything, nothing big. Did you hear what I said? What's the matter with you? What are you getting excited for? What am I getting excited about? Because you're going to get us all fucking pinched, that's why. What are you, stupid? What's the matter with you? I apologize. What's the matter with you? Sorry. The fuck is the matter with you? I'm sorry. What's my mother's name? What'd you say? Are you being a fucking wise guy with me? Huh? I'm sorry. What did I tell you? I what did I tell you? What did I tell you? You don't buy anything, you hear me? Don't buy anything. I'm sorry. I can take a hint. Can you also take a walk? You want me to leave? I'll leave right now. Bye. You expect me to leave after the way you talked to me just now? This is for real. For America. It don't take much strength to pull a trigger, but try and get up every morning, day after day, and work for a living. Let's see him try that. Then we'll see who's the real tough guy. The working man is the tough guy. You haven't had to bribe or charm or threaten your way to a seat at that table. You don't know how to assess your competition because you haven't competed. Don't make me your competition. You talking to me? You talking to me? And I'm the only one here. So you must be talking to me. Feel better? Yeah, I do. 